a group working to free Franklin occupied the vacant Franklin School Building at 13th and K Street in North Was Northwest Washington, D.C. Inspired by and participating in the Occupy, Liberate, Decolonize movement taking root across the country, we are a group of organizers, activists, and D.C. community members involved in local struggles around affordable housing, homelessness, and many other movements. The occupation of Franklin School is an action in solidarity with this movement and a call for justice from the 99% here in D.C. And we will model the future that we believe is possible. Rise up, y'all. Hippies over there, they got the drum circles and the guitars. You know what I mean? Like, we had Homeboy over there, he came through like first first couple weeks, he had his banjo, man. I was rapping over him playing the banjo. I'm like, holy shit, this is some deliverance shit, but check it. Every ounce of free will is donated to globalization, but world domination is sold via media saturation. We're indoctrinated like a prison camp or plantation, where a catalyst for war was pretext for invasion. False flag operations, ordnance and munitions, double thick mechanisms to scare you into submission, accepting mutually exclusive contradictory schisms. They either lie to your face or they lie by omission. They block in your vision, choosing to deny reality with logic versus logic schemas to repudiate morality. A fucking mental casualty. They'll never release us using a sick sequence, turning human beings to chess pieces. I'm not signing with your motives for the land that you conquer, saying it's not terrorism because it's state sponsored. UAVs with the launchers and the cameras that watch us, inciting sectarian violence in Iraq and the projects. You know, there's some shit, man. You just Absolutely. get that adrenaline, man. You just keep going. I travel around, I play guitar for money um, uh -huh. on the streets, um, street performing, busking it's called, and um, travel around and just enjoy life and meet new people and experience new things and stuff like that. So. Have you, how long have you been in D.C.? Um, like four days. Yeah, I was, in, I was at uh, Wall Street before here for a couple weeks. Actually, I was in Baltimore for a day and a half, and then before there, I was in Wall Street for a couple weeks. So, um, I'm doing like an Occupy tour basically right now. I want to start the revolution. The recipe calls for consciousness expansion on the global level, but begins on the individual. And it doesn't have to be politically revolutionary. It can be socially or aesthetically. I think, I mean, that's, that's what the common artist wants an aesthetic revolution. Music lifts the soul up to the sky, man. It makes you fly. It makes you higher than any drug could possibly ever do. Now understand that it's not a part of a plan. It's just something we do. It's the jam. <laughs> I've been down here for two weeks. Came up from um, New York, representing Wall Street. The thing is about the music is is really is communication. We use we use the drums because the drums was the first form of communication. It was that beat. It was to represent that heartbeat. I've been uh, I've been out of work. Uh, for about three and a half years, and um, I play music for a living. For, for me, the occupation is, is about the dream that Martin Luther King had uh, back in 1963 when I was a 13 year old standing on the mall, <laughs> you know, uh, listening to the I Have a Dream speech. That's what I'm here for, you know, to help that dream become a reality. And so I give a, a lot, a lot of percentage of my time and my money and whatever I have to this, to this movement. I'm 
Interesting that the Smithsonian is actually asking um, us yep. for our size. So it really talks about how the Occupy movement, Occupy Wall Street, Occupy DC, it's really becoming part of history. This movement is about joy. This movement is about celebrating life. You know? And so that's what you see here. This story tries to bring some dignity to, to the voice of people that come here legally. This is Rosita. You know, sometimes when I'm at the clinic, I see all these people, right? And they're new here in this country and they look sad and depressed. And I'm a little crazy. So I grab my car, put my food, and I go, venga, venga, que les damos, come and get it. I have illegal pupusas, <laughs> resident enchiladas, <laughs> and citizen tamales. <laughs> yes. They laugh. And when you laugh, you can talk. And we talk, and I tell him, look, I'm just like you. The only difference is I've been here longer. You have to be strong. The media jumps all over it, the evidence that we're violent. So we spend the day on spinning the story. We ask if this is about taxation without representation or about the damage to the tea. At K Street, the suits jeer at us from the office balconies. Get a job, they say. Get a soul, we answer. I enjoy drums once in a while, yeah. and it, it keeps the crowd kind of, yeah, I been. Uh, I been you know, motivated and happy, while, and so I, like, keeps them going. Yeah, kind of, you know, it's yeah. just a little uh, kind of uh, pick me up, you know. Yeah. Music, music has that effect. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to New York Island. The redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters. All the sand was made me.